Okay, my friends, after the short uh, vacation, I want to start with a very easy Mexican dish, fajitas, fajitas, no vajitas, fajitas. We have a meat, very clean meat, no fat. You cut in pieces, you don't need the big cut because we want to do with small tortillas. When you do, when you make with the big burritos, you can put big chunks of that, okay? We have a pico de gallo. Don't forget to check my channel because we have a pico de gallo and guacamole. We have a cheese. I use mozzarella cheese because it's not very very strong. I sometimes I use Monterey Jack cheese because it's like a, with little jalapenos, kind of a, the kick like a spicy, this good. And this kind of tortilla, like a flour. I don't like the other one, the corn, because it smells too much, but this one is very plain and I love that. And we have onion, yellow onion, Spanish onions. I don't use the red one because it's too strong. And I put red pepper and green pepper. And julienne, that means little pieces like this. Why I cut so too small is because it's a small piece of fajita. It's not a big tortilla, the big one, okay? That's the situation about this. Then I wanna show you with what ingredient we have to cook in the pan. I wanna make in the pan, no in the skillet. The skillet normally is getting like a two Toasted, no juicy, but when you put oil and you put something like a liquid, it's getting like a very, very juicy. And I love that with fajitas, okay? Now I wanna show you the ingredients when you put, when you cook that, the meat in the pan, okay? We have a like oil, regular oil, don't use olive oil. And you, you don't use a coconut oil because that's flavor. You got soy sauce. Why do people use a soy sauce? It's like Asian and we are Mexican, it's a flavor. Some people use English sauce. Who cares? The flavor is fantastic. Then pepper, garlic. Don't use the artificial garlic or powder. Use the real garlic and I just smash, okay? Because that's more flavor. Don't cut with a knife because the knife is like, uh, they don't get the juicy stuff. When you make like this, it's better. And salt, simple salt and ketchup. Why you put ketchup? Because this is a sacrilege for fajitas. Is the way I cook this, and believe me, I'm 255 pounds, I know what is good. I love flavor. Don't feel afraid to create something. You can put something extra. You can create something. That's the bottom line be in the kitchen. Don't be scared because sometimes the people create some new innovation in their dish and you say, what is that? What what you put here, that's the idea. You, you need to follow the recipe, but then you feel like, mm, let me put something like this. And it's really, really, really good. Okay, guys, this is the pan, mm -hmm. non-stick. Then you put oil. And when it's getting hot, you can put first the meat because we don't want to overcook the veggies, okay? Fresh garlic, salt, Pepper. How juicy is that? Then you put the soy sauce, not too much. This is the low sodium. This is really good. Because it's very uh, little pieces, it's cooked very, very fast, very fast. Now you can put all the onions, on the, all the pepper, like a Mexican flag, you know, red, green, and the onions. Keep like that, like a simmering, and I come back maybe in one or two minutes. After three minutes, uh, turning every single time, that I like can maybe every minute, it's getting very juicy. Then you put the ketchup to put some color, because you can use paprika, but some people, they don't like paprika because they got a problem with the stomach, you know, it's too strong. You want it more like a plate, don't put anything. That's it. Now I want to put before because I want to melt all this. I prefer like this. Some people, they say, that's not fajita. Okay, this is my ear creation. <laughs> okay. It's melting all the cheese. Okay, guys, uh, this is the presentation. You can serve like a buffet. Everybody can make the fajitas. That's the good stuff. The tortillas are hot. I want to put some mayo. 
I want to put the beautiful cheese. I have to show you this. Look, the cheese, the meat, is, the colors are very, very good. I mean, that's the idea. Don't overcook. That's the reason you have to check all the time. Then you put pico de gallo, a real guacamole. This is not from the supermarket, okay? You don't need to put anything else. And then inside. Mmm. It's so delicious, so fresh. Okay, guys, this is so delicious. I want to finish all this. Please subscribe, follow me. Okay, see you guys next time.